Hey there, my name is Terry Billups and I'm one of the Oily Farm Girls. My topic tonight is, do essential oils work? Well, I'm probably the right person to ask if essential oils work. Why? Well, because when I got started with Young Living about three and a half years ago, I had no preconceived ideas about oils. In fact, I knew nothing about oils. Um, I did know about the oils of the Bible. I knew that, um, oh, that there are, there are lavender fields in France. I knew that there are a lot of products that claim to have oils in them, but that didn't mean anything to me. That was just a fragrance, and there was no therapeutic value about that. So I was very fortunate that I had friends who strongly believed in Young Living, and they shared that belief with me. They shared their stories. They shared their oils, um, and they educated me. And they educated me to the point where I, I also saw the benefit of using oils. Um, very quickly, I found that the oils um, affected my body, affected me. So uh, we went from a chemical-laden home to a chemical-free home. And where I was struggling with um, staying above the wellness line, I don't struggle anymore. So that's kind of my story. Now, one of the things I love about our team is that we believe in educating people and one of the first things that I learned was that not all oils are created equally. In fact, um, if you think about it now, you can buy oils on the internet, you can buy it at grocery stores, at pharmacies, and even at hobby stores. That makes me a little concerned because the FDA requires that in order for a bottle to be labeled as pure therapeutic grade oil, it only has to have 5%, 5% of essential oils in it. That's a little daunting. And did you know that all the oils in the world fall into four categories of oils? You have your grade A, B, C, and D. Now your grade A is your therapeutic oils that are derived from organically grown plants, and then they are distilled at low temperatures. Your grade B is the food grade, and they may contain, they may contain synthetics, pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, or even carrier oils. Have you ever looked at a bottle of peppermint extract? It is food grade. In fact, we cook with it. But here's the thing, and it says pure peppermint. Well, if you look at it and look at the ingredients in it, the first ingredient is alcohol, the second one is water, and the third is peppermint oil. That's a little scary to me too. Uh, I would think that peppermint oil would be the first ingredient. Anyway, um, your grade C is your perfume oil, and that's often um, contains adulterated chemicals. They use solvents like hexane, which increases the amount of oil per harvest. Solvents can be cancer causing, and unfortunately, they are frequently found in store-bought oils. And then your grade D, and that's called your floral water, and it's aromatic only. It's usually a byproduct of grade A distillation. Basically, after all the oil is pulled out of the vat, the leftover water, which is called trash water, is sold to companies, and those companies will fill a bottle with about 5% of the trash water, fill the rest with the carrier oil, and they'll sell it as pure oil. There you go. So your grade A is your only pure oil. Grade D is like picking rose petals, putting them in a bowl of water, and just getting a lovely fragrance from them. Those are your two extremes. And that's why you want to use your grade A oils. Before you purchase an oil, you want to check to see if the company grows its own plants, if it owns its own fields, and if it controls the entire process from seed to seal, from the farm to your home. Pesticides, herbicides, fung fungicides, pollution, and previously farmlands can affect the quality of the oil. Young Living Farms and their partner farms have had their soils tested for purity. And as you've probably gathered by now, Young Living's uh, oils are the grade A. They're the the, the pure oils, the therapeutic grade. And one of the things that stands out to me is the Young Living Seed to Seal promise. Seed to Seal means that each plant is hand weeded, 
There are no pesticides, no chemicals, no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak and they're distilled at the right temperature to get the most therapeutic value. They're put through rigorous testing and from there they're bottled and they go to the farm and then directly to your home. So the question is, how can some companies sell their oils more cheaply? Well, to save money, they spray their crops with pesticides. And by doing so, they have more crops to distill. And if they use a chemical solvent to, do, to extract the oil, well, they pull more oil out. And if they dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, they just stretch the oil that's being distilled. So most of the essential oil companies that sell oils cheaper Basically, they're just cut, cutting corners. So my question to you is, why would anyone take the first step of getting away from chemicals and toxins and heading toward a healthier lifestyle, only use, decide to use oils that are not 100% pure? Why would you go cheaper? Well, it doesn't make any sense to me. Gary Young has said that he would never make an oil for profit. He only makes it for a purpose. Our seed to seal guarantee is not a slogan, it is a promise. It's a promise of integrity. So if you're interested, and I hope you are because this is very near and dear to my heart, you can learn more by checking out the Young Living story and fall in love with the company as I have. And if you go to the www.seedtoseal.com, you can learn more about it. Thank you so much. Have a great evening and thanks for being here with us tonight.